<clears throat> okay, so I have 12 valence electrons. The next thing I need to do is pick a central atom. Well, I have carbon and I have hydrogen. Hydrogen can never be a central atom, so that means that I have to use carbon. So I'm going to have carbon, and it's going to be, there's two carbon. So I have carbons attached to one another. And then those carbon are surrounded by four hydrogen. So then that means that each carbon has two hydrogen around it. Okay, so here's our structural formula. But our goal is to get this Lewis structure. So let's check to see how many we have right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right now I have ten valence electrons, so that means I need to show two more. <clears throat> so for, um, for hydrogens, let's look at them, because it says that I now need to make sure that the surrounding atoms are filled with their octet, or they have all the uh, electrons that they need. So hydrogens each have two, so those, those are good. So that means then that the only thing that I can look at is carbon. Now, I know that some of you would say, okay, what if I add one electron here and another electron here, and then that would give me 12 valence electrons, but that would mean that the formal charge on carbon here would be not zero, wouldn't be right. So that we don't like, but look at those two extra little electrons that are above carbon right now. What could they do with each other if they are unpaired? If they are unpaired, they can share a bond. So instead of there being a single bond here in between carbon, we could really make that A double bond in between carbon. So now let's check for carbon to see if it has an oct a full octet now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this carbon is good, and this carbon looks exactly the same. So both carbons have a full octet. But just to be safe, because you never know, we want to check the formal charge on carbon. So if I check the formal charge for this carbon, this carbon is going to be the exact same thing because they're, they're just symmetrical. So formal charge of carbon, I have four valence electrons for carbon, and I need the number of electrons that are acting in lone pairs. I see no lone pairs around carbon, so that's going to be zero plus. Now I am looking for how many electrons are in a bond around carbon, and I have four bonds, and each contain two electrons, so that means there are eight electrons. We're doing that over 2. So if I simplify this, it would be 4 minus 4, 0. We are good. Okay, let's do one more. <clears throat> um, guys, the one that I would like to do next... Let's look at Let's look at letter D. Let's look at CO2. Okay, so carbon, what is this? Carbon dioxide, got it? So carbon dioxide, first thing we need to do is check how many valence electrons um, the entire compound has. So we know that carbon has four, and oxygen has six, but there are two of them, so that means that it's really 12. So overall, carbon dioxide is giving us 16 valence electrons. Okay, so now I'm gonna look at which atom, carbon or oxygen, is going to be the central atom. Well, oxygen is more electronegative, and I want the least electronegative of the two, so then that means that carbon has to be in the, in the middle. Carbon has to be the central atom. 
So I have, let's draw our structural formula now, like our, our skeleton. So we have carbon, oxygen, oxygen. So that looks good to me. So this would be our structural formula right now. We need 16 valence electrons right now, um, or 16 electrons right now. We only have one, two, three, four. So right now only four are present. So I need to make sure I get 12 more electrons around these atoms. So we want to make sure that the surrounding atoms are full first. So let's make sure we do this first. So oxygen has two already. It wants to have eight. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I count these um, electrons, I had six over here, plus seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I fulfilled the 16 valence electron count. So if I look at this, oxygens both have eight, but look at carbon. Carbon only has four. So let's check the formal charge to see if this is correct. So formal charge of carbon. Carbon has four valence electrons. And right now we're minusing um, how many electrons are in lone pairs. So I see no lone pairs around carbon, so that's zero. Plus the number of electrons that are in a bond. I have two bonds, two electrons apiece, so that'd be four electrons over two. 4 minus 2 gives me 2. Formal charge is not good. So that means this isn't right. So somehow I need to get more electrons around carbon because this isn't well distributed with its electrons. So what could I do? What on earth could I do? How about if carbon doesn't have enough electrons around it because oxygen is taking all those electrons, what if oxygen gave some of those electrons back? So how about instead of these two electrons acting as a lone pair on oxygen, they make a bond with carbon here instead. So I'd have... And if I do that to this side, let's do it to the other side. <clears throat> so all we really did was understand that carbon needs more electrons around it. And oxygen has a lot of electrons around it right now. So oxygen could have given this little set of electrons so that oxygen and carbon can share those. Now let's look at this. Oxygen still has eight valence electrons around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's look at how many electrons carbon has around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's check formal charge to see if this is okay. Formal charge of carbon would be four valence electrons minus zero lone pairs because I don't have any dots around carbon right now. So I have zero plus. How many electrons are acting in a bond? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight over two. This gives me four minus four. So that means the formal charge is zero. We are happy. Let's actually do, let's do one more like this, okay? One more, one more, I lied. Let's look at letter F. On letter F, that's CH2O. CH2O. I first wanna find the number of valence electrons in this compound. Carbon has four. Hydrogen has one, but there are two of them, so there's two, so right now I have a total of six. And then plus oxygen would be another six. So I would have six plus six, that gives me 12. So that means the total number of valence electrons here is 12. <clears throat> okay, so I have 12 valence electrons. 
Now I need to pick out my central atom. Well, hydrogen can't be the central atom, so that leaves me with carbon and oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative. I want the least electronegative, so carbon it is. So I have carbon. That carbon is surrounded by two hydrogen atoms. So here's a hydrogen, here's a hydrogen, and then it's also surrounded by an oxygen. <clears throat> okay, so I have all of this, there's my structural formula. Now I wanna make sure that all of the surrounding atoms have all the valence electrons or all those extra electrons that they need. So hydrogen's good, this hydrogen's good, but this oxygen needs some help. So I would want eight electrons around it, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count how many electrons we have right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, well we've fulfilled our 12 valence electrons, but is carbon okay being the way that it is right now? So right now I look at carbon and I see that there's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Ultimately carbon would want that eight, but maybe this is right, maybe it's an exception. So let's calculate the formal charge on carbon just to be safe. So if I did the formal charge on carbon right now, I, would, I know that carbon has four valence electrons. I'm going to subtract that from the number of electrons that are acting as a lone pair, that's zero. I see no extra electrons as lone pairs here, so zero plus. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six electrons that are acting in a bond, so that gives me four minus three. Formal charge is not zero. So this is wrong. So just like in that last problem, what could we do to make carbon have a few more electrons around it? We want to distribute those electrons evenly, and right now they're not. It looks like maybe oxygen is taking over too many. So I want carbon to have a, a, a more, I want carbon to have some more electrons here. So what could oxygen do to help carbon out? Oxygen could take this lone pair and share it with carbon. So now instead, I could have that, a double bond. So now I still need to draw those remaining electrons that are around oxygen because there's two lone pairs here. So one, two, three, four. Let's check. Hydrogen has two. Hydrogen has two. Carbon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's check carbon. Formal charge of carbon is valence electrons are four. Minus, electrons acting in lone pairs here would be zero, plus the number of electrons acting in bonds, there are four bonds, so eight electrons, A over two. So that gives me four minus four equals zero, we're good. Okay, so hopefully you can see how oxygen can give this lone pair here to carbon, so that way it balances out how the electrons are distributed, and it gives us this formal charge here of zero because that's what we want. It shows balance. It shows then that the electrons are evenly distributed. So those are, um, we went through quite a bit of examples, guys. So if you want to try, um, I don't know which ones we did not do. We did D, oh, we did not do E, and we also didn't do G. So we just didn't do two on your practice with Lewis structures. So if you want to try those on your own, um, that would be awesome. And then on Sunday night, I'll post the answers to G as well as E. So if you want to try those two on your own, I can post the answers to those on Sunday, okay? Now, if you have any questions on what we did, because we went through quite a bit more examples of these. So if you still feel like you're lost, send me an email. Or if you want to post on the blog, that would be great too. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And it's almost turkey day. So I will see you guys on Monday.